Hello again, everybody. I'm Jamie. And I'm John. And this is an EAP Society Quick Take Tuesday, where we take a quick take look at a single release or a story or something that's a little too short for our main channel content. If you're enjoying the channel, be sure to like, comment, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Uh, when we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're going to give away an Elvis-owned item. And uh, be sure to become a member. If you would like, become a member of the EAP Society. Go to eapsociety.com and click on Become a Member. Members get ad-free videos, extended videos, exclusive content, and more. We've been looking at at FTD Classic Albums, and this is another one. This is, as John actually was saying before we started, the first non-soundtrack FTD Classic album. Yeah. And I rem remember everybody was excited about this because the Steamroller Blues bootleg had the complete show, so we were thinking, oh, cool. Finally, the complete show with all of the songs mixed by Sony. How awesome could they, or in Sony's studio. From the original master tape, how could it go wrong? And boy, did it ever. Yeah. Um, As a matter of fact, all right, I was trying to look this up. Uh, is there not something that's missing off this that was on Steamroller Blues? Uh, I think there might be some edits. Yeah, I think it I might it might just be dialogue. I think it's dialogue. Yeah, yeah, it's not not a whole lot, but there's something I remember that not throwing away my steamroller blues for other than the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but and the sound is enough of a reason uh, because oh God. great packaging. And yeah, that, and that's it. You 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 get this for the packaging if you get this at all. Um, now some folks didn't mind the sound. But it's really drenched in echo. If you like that, that's cool. Uh, you know, we're not going to tell anybody that they shouldn't like something that they like. But for us, really not super crazy about the sound on this one. Yeah, this is, uh, it's one of those that I, I get what they're going for. They're trying to liven up the sound of the tape. It's sort of flat yep. as a master. And they wanted to make it sound more live. So they added a bunch of like delay echo basically the whole recording it sounds like yeah and, and the result is mud the sonic result mud. Is mud mud i think this also does not have overdubs of right. they so they what they did to compensate for the overdubs for lack of overdubbed audience is they took the audience that was there mm -hmm. pumped it up to 11 and added a reverb to them too and Certainly what it sounds like. Now, in most cases, I would rather have original audience than overdubbed audience. Agreed. But, you know, you have to make trade-offs for sound. I, I'm, honestly, they could have done... Without the audience. They could have done... Yeah, yeah it, they don't need the extra audience. The sound was fine. They could raise them up and spread them out a little bit over the image. Yeah. And not add an echo to everything to make it sound like... I think what they were trying to do is they were trying to say, oh, this should sound like it's recorded in the Coliseum. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I, like, I get that, but it just... It doesn't quite work. No. No, it does not. Anyway, so go ahead and give us the uh, track list while All righty. We start with... I do like this front booklet cover though yes very good shots uh they call this suit the memphis suit because he wore it this night in memphis uh also eap society tidbit my father was at this show that's awesome and uh, it starts with also sprock zarathustra then we go to cc rider then to i got a woman and amen love me trying to get to you all shook up steamroller blues teddy bear don't be cruel love me tender the medley of Long Tall Sally, Whole Lot of Shaking Going On, Mama Don't Dance, Flip Flop and Fly, Jailhouse Rock, and Hound Dog. Then we got Fever, Polk Salad Annie, Why Me Lord, How Great Thou Art, Suspicious Minds, Introductions by Elvis, Blueberry Hill and Can't Stop Loving You, uh, Help Me, An American Trilogy, Let Me Be There, My Baby Left Me, Funny How Time Slips Away, Oh, which, no, My Baby Left Me, Laudy Miss Claudy, Funny How Time Slips Away, and can't help falling in love. Very cool. Good show. Great show. Uh, if you are looking for a copy of this show, I highly suggest the second, uh, well, the classic album, which comes with two CDs. They're, oh, I mean, no, the Legacy. The Legacy Edition. edition. Sorry, no, no, no. This is the classic album. Don't get this. Don't get this. Don't get this. Get the Sony Legacy Edition. It's about a third the price, and it's about three times as good sound-wise. <laughs> uh, you've, and you've not only got this show, you also have a totally other FTD that was a uh, multi-track that we only now have a mono tape, I believe, from. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if that's right. But, but it, it sounds yeah. phenomenal. It's from an RCA tape, but I think, it, I think I, yeah, I don't think it's multi-track, but I think it's from, a, a, from an RCA tape or something like that. Yeah, no, it, it, they, they apparently did set up the multi-track really? truck. We just lost the tape. Because it's a uh, especially good sound quality though. It From is. a few days before this, um, yep. 
it was sort of like a a rehearsal show or a safety copy in case something went wrong with this tape. Gotcha. Um, but uh, yeah, you get b- both shows for like twelve bucks with the Legacy Edition. It's phenomenal. It's yeah. the way to go. Yeah, and the sounds really good. Sound is good on that. Yeah, one. the sounds really good. I we do we could quibble a little bit with I, I don't think it's necessarily the perfect mix no but it's quite good it's quite good it's the best i think it's the best that we have for it's now. the best of the bunch that we've got yeah so hopefully at some point we can somebody will take another crack at it who knows but uh anyway this is our quick take look at the uh elvis recorded live in memphis uh on stage in memphis ftd classic album um sadly the sound is not necessarily what it could be um I did get this because it was complete and ended up being, or well, more complete than what we had and fairly disappointed. So legacy version is definitely so far the way to go. Hopefully in the future, then that can be bettered. So anyway, this is our quick take. Did you get this? What did you think of the sound? Let us know in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? Let us know. Uh, We'd love to hear from you either way. Anyway, I'm Jamie. And I'm John. And this is an EAP Society Quick Take Tuesday. And uh, the EAP Society is all about making sure Elvis history is not lost to history. Whether it be releases, stories, and perspectives, and all this kind of stuff, we like to make all of this available, or the information available, to Elvis fans of current generation, future generation, no matter what your budget is, because Elvis liked for his art to be accessible to people of all walks of life, and we like to pay that forward as best we can. Anyway, uh, this is a people-powered movement here at the EAP Society, not just a YouTube channel that means you like comment share the video get as much many folks over here to subscribe to the channel as you can subscribe to the channel yourself if you have not yet already because when we hit 20,000 subscribers we're going to give away this really cool elvis letter opener elvis owned this this is from 1956 elvis owned this until 1971 or two and we're going to give this away to the 20 or we're going to give this away once we hit 20,000 subscribers we're going to have a drawing and somebody's going to win this Elvis famously said, uh, when I read your love and letters, then my heart begins to sing. He may well have been using this letter opener in that process. Uh, <laughs> we're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. <laughs> An attempt was made. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, so somebody's going to win this. <laughs> so it's a good shot, though. The, uh, <laughs> I, was, uh, I was looking over the songs. I was like, uh, do I make a joke about splitting up the medley? <laughs> do I make a joke about editing? No, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best I had to go with. Do your own editing. Bad sounding FTD is with it. No, just kidding. No, the... Um, uh, but we're really glad to have the Legacy Edition. The Legacy is very good. Um, it's the best we have so far. Anyway, uh, we're going to give that away. We're going to do a drawing when we hit 20,000 subscribers. So subscribe today and get us up, uh, get the number up. We do that. We get out an Elvis Presley autograph. We have FTDs to give away. The reason why we want to do all these things is because we want to pay these things forward because we have a lot of big plans and a lot of things that we want to do for the Elvis community. And we want to incentivize that the best way that we can. If you want to help us out even more, uh, go ahead and be a member of the EAP Society come on board we'd love to have you go to eapsociety.com click on become a member and select the tier that you would like uh to uh, select the tier that you would like uh members get early videos extended videos ad free videos exclusive bonus content and more and we really appreciate all of our members especially our very own colonel colonel miles foreman thank you colonel uh we do our quick take tuesdays every tuesday and of course our main channel content on friday so until the next video be good to yourselves be good to each other and always TCB. My society, my society, here with all the friends I want to see. Don't need no high society to get me where I want to be. My society, yeah, that's for me. Oh, my society, yeah, that's for me. Oh, my society.